is a quick demo of NX linked to ANSYS Workbench. So we have a part here in NX. We're going to create a name selection. So we're going to pick on um, the inner bore of this part here using the name selection manager and create a named selection. So we're going to call this NS. So that's the filter we'll use. NS underscore inner bore. So that adds it to the name selection manager. That will appear when we take the geometry through to ANSYS Workbench. The next thing we can do is to expose parameters. So in X, I'm just going to create a uh, an expression. So this will control the number of arms we have on this part. So again, we have a filter for DS. So we use DS underscore arms. We've got five arms at the minute, so we say the parameter is going to be six. So on the controlling value for this, we can pick the expression we just created and that will update the geometry to have the six arms. So we've created a parameter there associated with the geometry and also a name selection. So just save the model to make sure it's up to date. In Workbench we see we have an empty project here so we're just going to drag and drop a static structural uh, and on the geometry item we can pick up active CAD parts. So if we right click on here we'll see that on import geometry the top one is our open part in NX. On the properties panel here we can choose um, the parameters and also select that we're going to import name selection. So we just need to make sure both of those are selected. As we open up mechanical that will bring the geometry across from NX. Uh, again this is a direct translation, we're not using any intermediate files here. When that process is it will bring across the parameters and the name selections we created. So it just takes a second to import. If we expand the tree here we can see our name selection for the inner bore is created. I'm just going to insert a fixed support here. We can use geometry selection as normal or we can switch to name selection mode and pick on that face we created in NX. So that load's created there. Just going to add in a simple load of standard gravity just to apply an acceleration load on this and ask for a total deformation result and hit the solve. So nothing particularly complicated about this but we'll show you the process. So this is going to take a second to run through and solve, try and do everything in real time for you uh, and then we can see the deformation of the part. As I mentioned before, we created a parameter to control the number of arms, so if we look at the individual geometry, we'll see DS underscore arms there. We can tick the box to make it a parameter, and we can also tick an output box. So you can build up a design study by picking up an input and an output, and this is controlled on the project page by this parameter set. If we go into here, we can build up a whole series of runs, or we can just update them one by one. So we'll change um, the 6 to an 8, and then just refresh the model. So right-click on here and hit Refresh. That's going to pass the request back to the CAD system. The CAD system is going to rebuild the model, so we should see that. And then we go to 8 arms, and that's going to get re-imported into Mechanical, as we can see. And then we just need to resolve to get the updated results. So parameters could be across a whole number of parts. Um, they could be load values as well as geometry values, and you could build up a design study. So just check that's worked correctly, which it has.